Hi there, sign of Sagittarius. This is Kim here to do a reading for career and finance. So I'm going to do a breakthrough spread for your career and finance. Look at there. See, I'm glad I'm shuffling. I use this deck and Osho Zen Tarot. And there's a card in the middle. Let's see if there's any more. Hopefully not. Alright, so messages for Sagittarius. Career and finance, please. April 2023. Alright, 13, judgment. You're being asked to let go of all judgments and forgive those who judge you. 13, judgment also corresponds with uh, this death card number 13 change transformation oh I have six intuition you are learning to embrace and trust your inner knowing um I have 69 environment now is a good time to clear clean and declutter your environment 50 self-sabotage you may be creating pain for yourself by standing in your own way and I have um, 24 authentic self-expression be true to who you really are your life will change in the most amazing ways and mirror 56 everything that is happening in your external life is a reflection of your inner world Sagittarius also 29 connection you are very connected to the heavenly realms you are very connected to the heavenly realms okay all right and I'm we're going to use Osho Zen Tarot I think so the first card is going to represent your pattern for uh, what keeps repeating the second spot is going to be your challenge um, your third spot will be the breakthrough card. Four will be your power spot or your power card, right? And um, like what you have going for you. Five will be the outcome and six will be like the intended action. That spirit's like telling you to or advising, spirit's advising. Queen of Cups in the reverse has to do with taking good care of yourself. Well, um, having a breakthrough, justice, the truth, the clarity, that is the pattern or needing to have a breakthrough. The sun is the challenge, seeing things. Wow. Um, your breakthrough is the Nine of Cups. Your going for you card is the Empress energy. Wow. The Seven of Wands is in the reverse as the outcome or predicted outcome. And the Page of Cups is in the reverse as the action to take. Action to take or no action to take at this time. Hmm. We will clarify because there might be a need to give to yourself to really take care of yourself because of this self-sabotage energy coming out and there might be something in the environment too that could contribute to the influence of this okay so justice card or the breakthrough card is the pattern it also can be that something technical gets you hung up like get hung up on something technical But figuring it out, like that's the whole, I feel like there's there should be math numbers all around, <laughs> around that kid. So what is the pattern? Clarify the pattern, the child of wands in the reverse, waiting on news. 
waiting on news for a breakthrough. Waiting on um, some kind of truth. The pattern taking some, I mean, some things coming across as being very serious. Tell me more about this nudes. Hmm. Waiting on some good news when currently the news is that there is either some money that's delayed or there's a pattern of somebody, um, like you have Virgo, you have Libra, Leo, Aries, Sag. There's a pattern of somebody that's let you down or uh, hasn't come through for you or was not honest with you. Maybe they were supposed to be. And so I don't know if this person owes you, owes you money, or if it's having a breakthrough on this money, on this money coming in. Tell me about the sun. Leo energy is the challenge. So the sun is seeing something for, oh, for what it is, like seeing when something has lost the magic or when something feels like it's lost the spark. The challenge coming out of denial when something has lost its spark. Leo or Aries energy, the Pisces energy, the breakthrough is the you can have whatever you really want, whatever you put your mind to, you can have. You probably got a little bit of luck going on too with that Nine of Cups. That's your breakthrough is that you already have um, or have the ability to really make yourself very happy there's something about finding some um finding purpose finding purpose feeling like what you're doing is part of your purpose i think you're looking for that you're looking for something that is the job that would be a wish granted doing the job that you love to do making really big moves that's up there i don't know i'm putting that down there that's up there um what is the power card empress um the empress can do many things um very good at receiving over all of the queens um can make a cornucopia everything she touches kind of turns to gold i think she has the ability to soothe others and help others get along too because this is what I'm seeing as being your power. Um, a very nurturing, mother, motherly-like energy. Non-confrontational, not abrasive. Um, and really gets things done. Very successful energy. And, and it might be because of turning, um, maybe even turning an enemy into a friend. Possibly. So tell me about the outcome. The seven of wands in reverse is um, maybe you letting go of some stress or not taking it all on. Um, there might be a need to defend oneself. That might be why that's coming up too. There's an ace of cups. Something new here. Something new. It's my card for something uh, that you're going to love. Begin. So it could be like a career or something like that is seeing clearly what it is that you really love to do there's something too about helping others making the better health decisions that like along with you along for the um experience but it's it can be part of a coaching thing too tell me about this it feels like releasing judgment or releasing the um automatically applying like a pessimistic outlook here so it's like releasing that three of wands it's you're visualizing and visualizing for the best visualizing for your expanse expansion it might be being more positive on the trip on the journey that this is taking you on um it's it's creating some, it's striking up some creativity. So I feel like there's something that maybe needs a makeover with what you do.
tell me more about um, what to do, um, how to see something for what it is. Mm. When something is not a good fit, um, with the Three of Cups in the reverse, uh, and to let that go, or to let the influence of maybe trusting in somebody, and then they don't come through for you, and then it makes you look bad, um, that's kind of like that. So you can't be friends with those that you manage to, is another message coming out, necessarily. I mean, I guess you can, but, you, you know, I don't know. There's something about that. There's something about this trusting maybe the not trusting the not so great people to trust not listening to your intuition that's why um four of swords in the reverse it's not wanting to think about what has to be done and and not wanting to think about um the things that are or the people that are not getting along in this situation is there something about listening to your intuition Losing patience with this. Let me get another deck. Um, let's tell us more about what is, why are people not getting along with the temperance or why is it like divine timing? It's divine timing to listen to your intuition. Yeah, okay. And, and to not worry about the things that you can't change, especially these people that maybe didn't come through for you. Explore Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, um, instead of waiting on them, like being the change you want to see. Tell me about losing patience. Also, keeping your thinking um, as positive as can be will help things. Oh, okay. Losing patience. So there's a magician. And it's about having good chemistry. There is a partnership here that would really, really work. Maybe that's the breakthrough is figuring out what what relationships have magic here or what work for you, what helps things grow, and um, what sucks the magic right out of it. <laughs> Maybe a move is what's necessary for this wish granted. Tell me about the four of wands in the reverse. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Making big moves. Um, it might be to conserve resources. It might be tightening up on budget. It might mean that um, possibly uh, this is a person that is like an interfering energy. It might be part of your breakthrough is that there is somebody who um, maybe they give you the like not so great advice or try to get involved in your things. But they, uh, all they do is they meddle. They meddle in things. They meddle in things. Um, a shit stirrer. <laughs> Could have Capricorn energy, might not. But this is so, you got to watch out with the, who your friends are, who you're trusting information with. Yeah, who you tell things. Watch out for who you tell things. Um, that will also help you get along with others if there's an issue with um, getting along with others. Tell me about this outcome. Where's this new beginning leading, um, Sagittarius? <laughs> well, it is leading you to many um, different options for yourself, many to choose from. Good. I like that. Oh, and something that you're actually passionate about is going to inspire you and inspire movement. There also may be travel on the cards for you. Uh, wow, another wish granted. Nine, nine of cups, nine of cups. Another wish granted. Goodness. The, the devil on the bottom, I think you're about to have some fun. Watch out for temptation. You're going to have a lot of your uh, wishes come true or, yeah, wishes answered for you. Yeah, I should say that. Your wishes answered for you. Watch out for self-sabotage with the devil, um, attachments or addictions that can maybe get in the way of our moolah. Sunrise. Every sunrise sings a song. Don't worry, be happy, just sing along. And then I have rose quartz crystal, soothing and warm like the love that flows. Once under your pillow, your magic grows. So Sagittarius, if you want a private reading and some more help with career or finance, contact me. Um, I do other readings also, but my 
email is found in the description box below. And until next time, love and light. Bye-bye.